thank you for watching and in this video we are going to cover the surface tool so first let's go and turn on the surface tool as you can go into any f tab and then you can right click on it and let's go into the tabs and then you can just click the surface in that way you can just show your surfaces tab here so let's go into the surfaces as you can see there are dozen of options so what we can do is like we, we are not going to cover all the options here in this video but yes like they work pretty similar like the normal tool so let me explain how it works okay so i have some sketches so what i can do is i can go into the extruded surface and then i need to select whatever the sketch i want to extrude i can sketch this by using this arrow i can just make the any direction wherever i want to sketch this surface or if you want to hold this arrow so you can go into this direction as well and there are another options as you can see like it works into the regular extrude you can extrude it blindly or up to work vertex up to next surface or these kind of things and even still you have still the option if you want to make a draft you can make a draft or if you don't want to use these arrows so there is a direction too as well so you can just change the direction and how long you want to go into this direction so these are the pretty similar options which we had in the regular extrude option so then if you are if you are okay with that then you need to click the green check mark so in this way this is our surface which is following this sketch let's delete this sorry for distraction but if you think my videos are helpful for you or if you are a serious solidwork learner i am going to highly recommend you you can go into the description of this video where you can find my course link in which i have over 10 hours of videos in which i explain each and every command in a detailed way thank you okay let's go and into the swept surface so as you know in the regular tool of swept surface what we need we need two one is the profile and one is the path so let's choose the profile so this is my profile and then i need to choose a path so i'm gonna choose this sketch as a path so what it's gonna do it's gonna follow this profile and make uh, start creating a surface in the path of this sketch so if you are okay then click the green check mark look okay then let's go and check the revolve surface so i can check this uh, this sketch and then what i can do is i need to select the axis of rotation then i can choose this axis and then it's gonna draw the surface like a bowl so i'm gonna click the green check mark so you can see it's gonna just follow the axis of rotation and then rotate it around it so in this way you can see we have a nice bowl here. if you want to change it so let's go into it again and then edit feature this type if you want to change your axis of rotation suppose not this one i want to change the axis of rotation around this one so i'm just gonna go into the axis of rotation and change here so in this way we are gonna to made a small glass so as you can see still you have all those options which we had in the regular revolve feature so you can revolve the blindly or you can up to neck to vertex up to surface or those things and then if you want to revolve 360 degree or less or whatever so it's all the same option which are in the regular revolve so i'm gonna click the green check mark so you can see we have this small glass by using the surfaces so as i already mentioned like these these tools work pretty similar like the regular one as you can see lofted boundary surface and all these tools we, we already covered these in the previous video so just the difference is by using surfaces tool it's not gonna create the solid body it's just gonna create a thin surface so this is the difference and that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed it if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And if you are a serious SolidWork learner, then don't forget to check the course link in the description. Thank you. Sorry for distraction, but if you think my videos are helpful for you, or if you are a serious SolidWork learner, I am going to highly recommend you, you can go into the description of this video, where you can find my course link, in which I have over 10 hours of videos, in which I explain each and every command in a detailed way. Thank you.